Hey y'all, thanks for tuning in to Foster's Farm and Garage on YouTube. These are my notes over August 2021. My calling from God. I'm not called here to worry about the future of our stock markets, but what the future of God holds. Learn from my sins, to give, to love, obey, listen, and be humble. Don't worry about fixing yesterday. Fix it today. Lean on God today. Matthew 7, 7 through 8. Ask and it shall be given. You seek and ye shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth. And to him that knocketh it shall be opened. The three imperatives, ask, seek, and knock, are in the present tense of the original language, <clears throat> suggesting both perseverance and frequent prayer. Fervent and continual prayer is to be made on behalf of those for whom we are concerned. God promises to answer all genuine prayer. Everything we need for spiritual success has been promised to us. God leaves us no excuse for failure. August 2021, uncleanliness is everywhere. The devil puts sin in almost everything these days. If sin becomes normal in your life, then you will live in sin. The TVs and the internet are full of half-dressed women. This makes the man lust and tells the young ladies that this is the way they should become to get a man's attention. The devil has a grip on this world, but not full control of it, for God wants your mind. The Bible tells us this in 2 Corinthians six seventeen. Therefore go out from the midst and be separate from them, says the Lord, and touch no unclean thing, then I will welcome you. The Bible is telling us to go out and be separate from the world. Today, it's a world that people chase after pleasures and materialistic things. Follow Christ and never follow the God of this world. For Satan is here to do three things. To steal, to kill, and to destroy. And repeat that. He's here to do three things. To kill, steal, and destroy. All three are the spirit of fear. When the devil reminds you of your past, you remind him of his future in Jesus' name. Only a strong man will trust in God. Job trusted in God and never lost his faith while being put through so much pain and misery. God loves you like Job. When the shepherd David fought Goliath, he fully trusted in God. For David had already killed a lion and a bear for trying to have lamb chops. As he walked to the battle, as he walked to a battle, a giant that many men had fallen to, Psalms 23:4. Ye, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff comfort me. God can do the impossible. All you have to do is believe in all your heart in Jesus Christ, that he's the Lord and Savior of mankind. Amen on that. This month of August, um, time came up. We are all we are all very busy people these days. We are moving way too fast. When the devil can't make us bad, he makes us busy. But God says no, you can choose. You can choose to stop. It says in the book of Matthew, the Lord says, Come to me first. Who 
who are weary and I'll give you rest. Tired, worn out, burned out on religion, Jesus says, come to me and I'll show you how to rest. He says, keep me company. He says, keep company with me and I'll give you rest and comfort. You have time for what you choose to have time for. The reason why most of us don't have time is because you have time for what you choose to have time for. The solution is what we do with our time. Most people say they're too busy to read the Bible. They don't have the time. Just think about what you're saying about your time and how it makes God feel about the time he gave you. Because when you say these things, you're telling God you don't have time for him. It's your duty to find time every day for God, for your home is in heaven, not on this earth. You see, the devil knows his time is near, so he's trying everything he can to take our time and concentration away from Jesus Christ, the Savior of mankind. Only God can satisfy our needs. It's not how long you live, it's how, it's how you lived with the time that you had. We should set godly goals with our lives. Like how to walk with obedience and how to do things you're called to do. Make your failures your teacher, not your undertaker. I want to repeat that. Make your failures your teacher. Don't make them your undertakers. Persistence paves a way. You're not finished until you think you are. If you think you're beaten, you are. If you, if you, dare, if you think you dare not, you won't. If you don't think you can't win, you won't win. If you think you're the class, you're out of class, you are. If you think you champion, you are, but you won't be a champion until you think like a champion. Let us remember as we live our lives that God in heaven has empowered us to do the impossible. You have that authority. I want to repeat that. God in heaven has empowered us to do the impossible. You have that authority. What are you going to do with it? God gave you authority over all what you are doing with it, including your time. Every day is a new start. Take a few minutes every day and pray. Pray for your problems and all other people's problems. God will answer you. Be thankful to God and put on a fresh new attitude. Make a plan to be a blessing. Plan on forgiveness. Forgive and compliment your enemies, the ones who hurt you. Start your day with hope. Look in the mirror and see what changes need to be made. Look at it as you don't have to go to work, but you want to go to work and be thankful for your work. Get out in the world and be a living message to people who need God. Mercy is amazing, especially from God. It's one of our greatest gifts. I wanna say that again. Mercy is amazing, especially from God. It's one of our greatest gifts. Get up in the morning and spend it with God. This is a choice we need to make every day to talk to him, let him know our daily needs, improve and be humble and thankful for the things he plans for your future. God did not put you on this earth to live in a misery. He wants you to be happy and live your life humbly, desperate for his help, desperately needing to spend time to getting to know our Father, God. Don't worry about things you're supposed to do. When you flow, when you follow God, 
all your worries disappear. God has taken all fear away from me. You see, my home is with him in heaven. So I don't get scared when there are rumors of war. I don't fear when the wrong person is in charge. I don't fear the devil or his demons. The only thing that I fear, and I fear these words more than anything on this earth, the three words so many will hear come from their father, depart from me. Depart from me. This is why I do my monthly vlogs. I don't ever want to hear anyone to have to hear those words ever. So if you have a past full of sins, even if you broke every one of the Ten Commandments, it's time to get on your knees and repent for all your sins. My fear is my brothers and sisters not making it in the book of eternal life. This is my most fear. So I beg for my brothers and sisters to find Jesus and repent to him with all your heart. And don't worry about yesterday's anymore. Just worry about today. I want to hear, well done, my son. Welcome to the kingdom I prepared and promised you. God split the Red Sea and delivered his children from pure evil. If he calls you to the Red Sea, he intends to divide it. I want to repeat that. If God calls you to the Red Sea, he intends to divide it. Start your day slowly and calmly with the Lord. If you start your morning with God, he stays in your mind all day and puts him in full control. God is your commander in chief. So don't forget your daily briefing. In Jesus name. Amen.